Thank you guys for coming back. As you can see on my screen, is a very, very interesting topic. Today, we're going to discuss how you can get your money back if your coin is being rug pull. Also, delisted. So, if, um, we're going to use BitMart as a example. So, we're going to show you in BitMart as an example. If you are um, using another platform, any other platform, just go ahead and comment. Let me know what platform you're using and if you'd like more on this topic. All right. I'm going to leave the lit, uh, link in the description or you can get more information in this video. So remember, check out the link in the description and you're going to get a lot more. But in this video, I'm going to go over everything that you may need to know. So stay tuned to the video. All right, so as you can see right here, you can see where it says regarding withdrawal for delisted token. Delisted mean that the exchange doesn't have nothing to do with that token anymore. That doesn't mean the token is not somewhere else where you could um, possibly still invest in it if you want to. But this exchange don't have anything to do with it anymore. That means they're not interested in having it on their platform because there's something about it that they are not agreeing with the contract. Or now something is not right. So they decide to take it off their exchange. So if you go, if you go down on the screen here, you can see what they say. Here, it says, Dear BitMart user, please note that Request to open a withdrawal for a delisted token will delisted token will case to be free of charge and a service free of fifty dollars in USDT. So if you want to get back your coin, you're gonna have to send Bitmart fifty USDT. So if it's less than fifty dollars, forget about it, bro. Okay, you you gonna spend fifty dollars to get back thirty dollars? Not gonna make no sense. Or fifty dollars to get back um, twenty dollars? Don't make any sense. All right. So below here is what you're gonna do first. So first you're gonna contact us, which is BitMart. Submit a ticket, and if you um, want to submit a ticket, all you have to do is click on this link right here. You submit the, um, the ticket once you submit the ticket you're gonna wait a little bit it says allow time for bitmart to support to check allow bitmart support to check if the withdrawal is possible so even though you give them your $50 it's not a 100% guarantee that you're gonna get your money back all right so um If BitMart support replies and confirm that we can assist you a withdrawal of the delisted token, send $50 to BitMart ID using the internal transfer option. So if they reply back to you, you send them the $50. You get it? So this is getting a little bit better. Now allow time for BitMart support to reply regarding the estimated withdrawal time generally by one generally by a week or so before a week yeah so right here all right now let's go down a little bit more right here it stated that if the withdrawal let me see if the withdrawal function cannot be resumed on our end or your withdrawal cannot be processed due to unforeseen reason, fee will be returned to your BitMart account. Not bad, not bad. That's why I go slow, guys. I want you guys to get everything. You can take your time. And read it yourself because we want to make sure that you guys are well educated 
and get all the information that you should all right now below it says the service fee is charged per token so if you have two token <laughs> and they take they delist them you have to pay a hundred dollars in usdt all right so you have to decide if you want it back if it's six hundred dollars if anything more than a hundred dollars worth giving it a shot guys i would give it a shot so let me show you what a delisted situation is like now let me show you some delisted coin stick around i'm gonna show you some coin that is being delisted you have to be careful of these coins because they are being delisted bitmart remove them from the platform meaning that for some reason they didn't like them no more and they remove them from the platform all right so let's jump over there so if you go here it's good to have a bitmart account whether you're going to use it for this purpose whether you're going to use it for trading or not you can use it for other purposes you can use it to check things all right so every single day they list coin and bitmart man four or five coin if you look right here just take a look on my screen these kinds are coming out it says Pika listed. Pika. There was a coin before called Pika. P E K A. Now that one is gone. Now a new one coming. Let me tell you something about new listing in coin. Something that I learned over the past bull market. Whenever the bull market is about to come and it's close by, they start listing a whole bunch of coin, especially Bitmart. If you find a coin on Bitmart and you don't find it on Coin Market Cap, <laughs> do some more research. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying, do some more research. All right? Yeah, do some more research and decide what you want to do from there. But if you look right here, is a whole bunch of coin coming in. This is where the good and the bad mix up and have a party. So you're not gonna know who is the good and who is the bad. But sometime, if you do your due diligence you will know from my experience most of my bad coin was on binance network that's the bad experience that i have most of my bad coin was on binance network so when i see coin on binance network i make sure i go in fully and do a lot of research because i for some reason it's easy to get on that network they just put stuff on that network and trust me when i see binance network and I see coin on there, I try to do a lot more research and make sure that I'm doing the right thing. All right, so now let me show you how to see delisted coin. So you click home at the bottom. After you click home, you're gonna get this option here at the top. And then mm, I think you just click on deposit from here. Right here, you can just click deposit. Let me try that deposit all right there we go so once you click deposit you're gonna get a whole bunch of coins gonna come up you're gonna look at the coin name is over on this side and the delisted suspended is on the other side so you're gonna scroll up kind number one i've been delisted a kind call akita inu akita a-k-i-t-a -A. i've been suspended all right and then we have a apu suspended baba suspended b-a-b-a -A. gone and the list goes on look bart simpson coin they gone you remember those coins? They come up with a lot of zeros. There's something why Bitmart kicked them off the platform. Bitmart doesn't want them over there. Berry, gone. These coins are, are newly listed coins. Newly listed coins. Candies, look at this. They have a whole bunch of them over here. They even have a coin called child support, guys. I remember when this coin came out, I was like, hmm, this guy's moving in a great direction. It looked like he's trying to get something done. Those coins are gone. All right. Now they have um this one gone. This one gone. 
ETF. This coin seemed like it just came out the other day. Let me take a look and see when did this coin get listed. Let me see if I can click on it. Not even able to click on it anymore. Because this coin is dead over in Bitmart, guys. Over in Bitmart, Bitmart don't like it. They take it off. Don't know what's going on, but they don't want them over there. Look, we got a whole bunch more. You can look at these and then you can get a full understanding what to buy what not to buy even if you see it somewhere else you can go deeper into it because now you got something to look back on you can say okay for some reason bitmart kicked this kind off their platform why would they kick it off the platform think about it let's go down some more see if we find anything that you're familiar with happy fans oh my i remember this one too that's why we're gonna wait until these kind do their time let them do some time let's see how long they're gonna stay out there for and how long they can hold on a lot of kind guy look look at this but again delisted on bitmart does not mean the coin is not somewhere else or you cannot buy it or you cannot hold you still can find it somewhere else buy it and make money from it but we're just saying there's a reason why this platform disagree and close all transaction with that specific coin something about them and their and that company they didn't want to deal with them no more and they close it out it could be that they just the coin manufacturers move on they move on and they just using another platform and they just don't want to pay a bit more anymore maybe the contract end maybe it was just a three month thing but once you see this you need to go ahead and do your due diligence more research all right now right here we have a whole bunch now down here you see you guys have a lot of work to do you see i'm just showing you guys i'm just giving you guys a sauce right here they have a whole bunch of stuff I got coin that been delisted before. I got coin that I try with and they delist them. And um, that's why I'm showing you guys this so you doesn't get into the same situation that I get into. Because I got coin that I've been delisted before and I, I lost the money. Yeah, I lost the money. So I don't want to see nobody else lose their money. So I'm showing you these things, look into these things before you invest do you research these are coins that being kicked off of other platform they may show back up somewhere else look at this kind sandwich net where you can tell when you see a name like that guys what do you think when you see a coin called sandwich network what is the first thing come to your mind this one named sleep <laughs> And then we have um, shop payment. Mm, not a bad name, but hey, then stay. You can look over here, look at the suspension, and then search the coin in Google. You may find a lot of stuff. People may be telling you, and that will, will take you around two to three minutes to do based on how you use your phone or your computer, and um, that will give you a lot of um, insight and help you to save time and grief and money time is money so if you save time you're saving money so right there all you have to do get a bitcoin account get a bitmart account come over here double check so that you can see what is being delisted and um you can have some great idea and what not to do and you know Again, I'm just going down all this, guys. I can't, I can't just jump off like this. I have to show you guys. This is a whole bunch because some of you guys may not have the, the app to go in and take a look at it. So I'm going down the list here and showing you guys. There is a lot of coin that been delisted, and if the coin has been delisted, something ain't right, and we need to do more due diligence. All right. So um. If you don't have the app, I'm going slow so you can kind of read the screen or you can go back on the video and um, take a look. I'm going to also uh, I'm gonna update you guys and um, 
new delisted coin once i find them i will update i will give you yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna give you a daily update remember this coin i lost some money in this coin i'll be yeah i'll be they step away with a couple um, dollars for me and um this coin was a different name before i forget what it was and they switch it to i'll be and then i say okay let's see what's gonna happen that was four years ago though and then i um i'll be was there for a little bit and bitma kicked them off so something wasn't right between them and bitma bitma didn't want that foolishness they didn't have time for it all right now we have ama finance below right here and um they get kicked off too uh amc but it could be many different reasons why they get kicked off again don't believe that just because they're not on bitmart they're not good we're just saying if they are being suspended somewhere you need to look into it so just like a kid go to school and he gets suspended and he just want to go to another school they're going to look to see why this kid was suspended what happened just like you get fired at your job and you want another job they're not going to just hire you they want to know why you get fired they want to know if you stole something they want to know if you fight on the job they want to know if you're rude what is the issue why did they fire you you good worker and they fire you they just let you go because you work too hard yeah yeah and so now i see all right right here so let's take a look let's go down you see how many coins being delisted guys tons tons and this is the time when you have to pay close attention because they're mixing up the good with the bad every time you get a good you get 15 to 20 bad so it's hard for you to figure out which one is good and which one is bad and that's why you need to play around with these things and see this is my first mistake this coin called aqua gold oh man i was just buying coin and i see this one and it was a lot of zeros and i buy it up and never know what i was doing and bam my little 20 dollars turn into around 20 cents until it, it just gone you know and that's how it works guys so you have to be careful. I don't want that for you. I'm not going to tell you to do anything that I wouldn't want for myself. I wish if I have somebody to break it down for me in the early stage. These guys that are vlogging and telling you stuff, they're not going in details. They're just doing it for the views and the subscribers and the likes and all that stuff. But I'm showing you real thing, real numbers. You're never going to find another YouTuber that go in depth and show you these things anytime you see another video where they log into their profile and show you these things post it in my comment so i can take back my talk you're not going to see no other youtuber that go in depth and show you these things i'm telling you that they will show you some little other stuff and read some stuff from some websites and tell you to follow the chart and all these crazy stuff but they're not even tell you where they find the chart. They're not showing you anything in depth. So just stick around, stay on this channel, come back, make sure you, you check out everything that I post because detail is in my video. Details are in my video, guys. Details and proof are in my video. I'm not telling you something that I'm not doing. If I tell you I make money, I can show you. I can show you that yes I did it may not be 20,000 but if I say I make money it could be $15 could be a hundred and fifty dollars could be a thousand dollars because the more you put in the more you make sometimes we don't have a lot to put in but we know we could have made more if we put more so we just show you what we made but we're not gonna tell you something that we are not doing right now more I can keep going guys but now I'm gonna I know it's it's a it's a lot it's a lot and for me to show you guys all it's gonna take some time but if you want to see the rest or you want to see more click on the link in the description join bitmart it's a good place to day trade i day trade over there i'm gonna make another video and show you guys how i make four to five sale yesterday at my limit sell 
and you know I'm very big on limit sell. If you're not familiar with how to do limit sell and limit buy, limit sell help you to sell when you're sleeping. So if you're not familiar how to do that, put a comment and let me know. And um, I'm gonna put a link also in the description that you can click on and learn how to do limit sell and limit buy limit buy and limit sell so you buy at a limit and you sell at a limit you sell when you're sleeping that's the best thing guys a lot of morning when i wake up and i check my phone i got my usdt i can take it out or i can buy again and most of the time where it sells is way below that that means if i didn't get that sale it would have dropped and i would have lose money so limit sell is the way to go you need to learn how to set up a limit sell and limit buy and you need to practice it before the bull market start that's the only way you're gonna make money if the bull market start and you don't know how to do these things you're gonna lose a lot of money a lot because you're gonna be sleeping when these coins are running and by the time your friend tell you or somebody call you to tell you are you here from me on the website that's 20 hours ago and um when you go on youtube youtubers cannot bring you the information that fast uh, you know so you have to and sometimes you at work you at school you are you know you at play you're on the beach whatever you are um you're in a plane you can't do it you have to just set these things and say this is my goal if you get five thousand dollars sell automatically and hold the money for me until i get back once you get back and you see the money you're gonna be stable because you're selling it and turning it to a stable coin it's not gonna be going up and it's not gonna be going down so that's the way to go but that's a different video guys i got videos on that and my and my channel i'm gonna put a, a link in in the description for other videos that show you how to do limit sell and limit buy one of my um, best video on my channel is how to do limit sell and limit buy and and um coinbase i got robin hood i got crypto.com i got all these different platform that i'll show you i show you how to do it on bitmart so check out my video and um you will see how to do limit sell and limit buy i'm leaving you guys now so you can have a great great rest of your day and comment let me know what you think and what you would like to see but this video is how to get back your money if you were scammed how to get back your money if you were scammed or the coin being delisted you go ahead and you start out on the first page like i showed you before make sure you follow this step i'm gonna try to post this link also in the description so you can go and read it slowly for yourself because you know my reading is kind of messed up so you can go and read it yourself and get your own understanding from it oh that's all great have a great day thank you again for staying tuned and please check out the next video in the description that says limit sell limit buy those are great great things that you need to know how to do from early before it gets too late because i don't want nobody come back and say they, they they were nervous and they pressed the wrong button so go check out my video that says how to do limit sell and limit buy I'm going to put all my limit sell and limit buy videos in the description that you guys cannot have no excuse why you don't know how to do it. And if you want a platform that I didn't post, post it in the comments so I can know, so I can go ahead and post one for you. There we go. Thank you.